So I went and did that thing I said I was going to do, which is I went and bought a couple of different mixers. And I'm going to try them with those um, liquor flavored wines. So I'm going to start with the Stroski. And that is, uh, again, I believe that is supposed to be a, we'll just pour a little bit in there. I believe that is supposed to be a vodka flavored uh, drink. So I thought, what would I do with vodka? Um, originally I thought cranberry juice, but I'm not big on cranberry juice. And then I thought a screwdriver, you know, just some uh, OJ and some of this, but I'm using OJ to go with something else. So I thought Red Bull, Red Bull and vodka. I've heard that's a drink that people enjoy. Pour that in, just, just throw that over there. Of course, I got it in the fancy Solo cups. Mostly tastes like Red Bull. And I'm not a mixologist, I don't know. I'm not measuring anything here. Basically, it tastes like Red Bull with some, uh, some mouth tightening. This has also been about a week, week and a half since I've done these, so. But I will say the Red Bull definitely helps out. So yes, approved. Approved, approved, approved. All right, next up is the Veracruz, which is the, I believe that's like a tequila. Uh, I think that was supposed to be uh, like a tequila flavored. Let's go a little heavier on the pour there. See what we got. I've dropped it and now it's lost forever. All right, so to go with the tequila, I wondered, all right, what to do with that? First, I was thinking like a, to, like a um, margarita mix or something like that, but I was trying to keep this something you could find at 7-Eleven. So if you went to 7-Eleven and bought the Veracruz uh, wine, what was something else you could pick up with that? OJ, which is why I didn't do it with the vodka. But I suppose if I really wanted to try a bunch of mixtures, I could do that. Oh, and here comes the cat to start mucking around with stuff. Let's see if I can... I'm going to distract her by opening this window. Ooh. Now Domino is distracted by the windows of the outside world. And I'm distracted by this damn childproof OJ... All right, there we go. So anyways, yeah, tequila and OJ. I figured that would be... a worthwhile combination. Again... Um, I don't know, I'm not pouring... Much in here, the, the OJ, you know, after filling it, it's about up to there. Let me see if I can find the Veracruz and add a little more in there. Because it's not, right now it's just kind of tasting like OJ and not much else. Okay, there we go. Yep, 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 yep. So 
So yeah, kind of a tequila-y, orangey concoction. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see, what was, uh, next up, ah, next up is Carib Bay, Carib Bay, or Car Carib Bay, I think I made the joke, same joke in the last video, he was recycling his jokes, he sucks, yeah, that's, that's why this channel sucks. All right, so of course, Carib Bay or whatever, however you wish to pronounce it, that is a tequila, tequila tasting wine. So I decided to go with Coke. Um, this could be interesting. Um, I don't know how wine and Coke would go together. It might, it might not. Um, I guess you could also do orange juice with that, or, um, I don't know what else would go with that, but it's, I don't know. I feel like this video is very boring. It's just me mixing shit together and being like, yeah, that kind of works. So let me go a little more in depth here. Okay. Basically what you are looking at is it does taste like whatever you are trying to combine, but just slightly off. There is still that, there are some tannins in the wine. So that is giving it that sort of mouth puckering feel to it without it being that overall it doesn't have the same mouthfeel as whatever liquor you are trying to confuse it for. So whether you're drinking this by itself, whether you combine it with something, you're going to get what you are looking for, but it's just going to be slightly off. Case in point, this tastes like a rum and coke. So, I, so far, yeah, let's... Let's chalk this up to if you are going to 7-Eleven and you want some sort of mixed drink and they have these flavored wines, there are things you can pick up to go with them that will make them taste like what you are trying to get, but it will be slightly off. Why would you want to do this? Again, um, maybe this is something on a budget. Uh, and for roughly the same price that you would pay for a small, small bottle of vodka or rum or something like that, you can get uh, almost twice or four times that amount in these wines. Um, also, if you are living in Virginia or somewhere like Virginia that has the same ABC laws, you cannot buy liquor at a 7-Eleven. So if you're trying to do a one-stop uh, mixology, you're going to go to 7-Eleven and you're going to get this and whatever you're trying to mix it with. Or again, if you're trying to do it in bulk, you can get several things of the rum and several bottles of Coke, or you can get a thing of rum and a thing of tequila and a thing of OJ and sort of mix it together and see what you get. You know, hey, give it a try. See what you got. All right. If you watched the last video, or if you know these products, there is one more item. There's one more thing that we've yet to try, and that is the cinnamon. And if you watched my last video, you'll remember the cinnamon is actually pretty damn good by itself. It's sweet. It's got a little spice. It's actually, if you want to drink it by yourself, you can. And it would be pretty good. But the question is, what if you want to mix it with something? What if you want to dilute it with something? Well, I think there's only one thing you can really dilute this with that will work. 
And that is just some good old fashioned apple juice. And um, oh boy, I think this is gonna work. All right, uh, now here's my question. This says 100% juice, but does this also have, it just says other natural flavors. So here's something I learned, something interesting I learned a few years ago. A lot of times with apple juice, what you're going to get is apple cut with pear. And I will be very honest with whoever is watching this, pear juice apparently messes me up real bad because um, I have since had things that are 100% apple juice and I've been fine. But whenever I have a, a, a large amount of anything that is apple and pear juice, there's a quick trip to the bathroom. I will be honest because I've been drinking. Um, I'll put all my mixers up here. And I've got all my wines over here. Right next to my bed. And I'll just lie in bed and drink. I feel like this is going to be used for my intervention. Oh, well, whatever. Let's give this a try. So, it's just now July. Uh, tomorrow is actually July 4th, and um, unfortunately I don't have anything like I did last year. I think last year I did ice cream flavored beers. I don't have anything like that. But this makes me wish it was fall. I always wish it was fall. Fall is like my favorite season, but this, ooh, I can't wait for fall, because for like... A $5 bill, you could go to 7-Eleven, get a small bottle of this cinnamon whiskey wine, and get some apple juice, and mix that together? Oh, this is... This is delightful. I might actually... I might just pour the rest of both of these into this cup and enjoy this for the rest of the night. Holy crap. Yeah, this is, um, and I mean, you could do that with, of course, you can go and buy like some, some Fireball or some Jack Daniels cinnamon or something like that and get the same result. But if you're swinging by 7-Eleven and they got this stuff, you can pick this up for the cheap and it is, it is just as good. So... Once again, personal, personal choices, pick up the cinnamon, that cinnamon wine, and pick up some apple juice. Oh, man. Well, this is what I'm going to have for the rest of the night. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if I find anything else interesting, if I find something last minute to try for 4th of July, I'll put that video up. Uh, otherwise, enjoy your 4th. This will probably be up after the 4th. How does uploading work? Good thing I'm not going anywhere for the rest of the night.